All right, guys, welcome back to more Monster Hunter World. My name is Raven from the Sky. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for showing your love and support. Keep showing it, and I keep cranking these out. Now, with that being said, let's do this. All right. Let's hunt Kieran again. Gone in the flash. You can never hunt that bad boy too many times. Especially when you're trying to make a thunder set. Which is what I'm trying to do. There he is. One of the best looking monsters in the game. But also one of the most annoying with them during lightning strikes. Oh! He likes to bully you. Hit that horn. Hey! Huh! Almost! Almost. Let's see if we can get a few chops in. Oh. Right, I'm like a darn horse. Come on, settle down, come on, hmm. so thing, he's only weak in the head, everything else is just real minute damage, whoa, I guess that, uh, that high metal armor is good against him because it's strong against thunder. And I'm just keeping my reaper outfit on. Ugh! Gallops over me. Hmm. Oh, he's, he's gonna hit us again! Ah! How you like them apples? Huh, Kieran? Ah. <laughs> Knock the daylights out of us. He galloped over us so many times. Did he even get stunned? What the heck? Ah! 
Out of the way. Oh! Woo! Right on the nail of the head. We'll use this opportunity to sharpen our blade. Let's go to a higher ground as usual. As per usual. All these vigor wasps are down. But when you need them, they're never that many down. When you're facing like an elder dragon or something and you're near death. So here we <laughs> putting this thing through the ringer. And we got all these vigor wasps down. Don't even need them. Look at that, he didn't even... Must be immune. Oh! Hmm. It's funny how they always get you in the middle of that combo, right? Oh! Oh! Oh, you funny! Don't step there and nudge me. Guess what? I got something for you too. Woo! Oh, that's just, that's just great. He's almost unhittable when, you, when he gets that electricity around his body. I didn't mean to hit that. I was trying to hit him. I don't know what in the world would that... It looks like, what do you call it, but it's not. You know that, that uh, when parts break, it looks like that pebble, but it, it's not. That's so deceiving. Hmm. Oh, that would have been perfect if we landed that, but we didn't. Of course. Of course we didn't. Uh oh, it's near death. Now let's go follow it. We got it dead to rights now. Use a mega barrel bomb against it. See, all the dragons can't be captured, ladies and gentlemen. So you're gonna have to use barrel bombs. Do some significant damage. That way you ain't got many hits left. Take it down. That sucks though. I wish you could. You need to come up with an update or something. That lets you craft some special trap to where you can capture Elder Dragons. Because when you capture monsters, the rewards to me are greater. Maybe that's just me, but to me it seems like you get better rewards when you capture them. Let 
and back when I first started the game, I never really liked capturing monsters because I didn't know that you could do the sleep, wait for them to go to sleep, trap them, and then put the trank bombs down versus sitting there trying to bait them into it and crap during the heat of battle, and they got real annoying. And that's why those capture uh, quests and investigations I got them piled up in my um, quest log. But now, that's all I do, even when hunting missions. Sit there and get them weak enough and then do the uh, strategy. That was 300 damage, though. Oh, that was slick. We canceled. We canceled moves. Is he exhausted or something? He's walking like ain't nothing going on. I. Evidently, he's not exhausted. Oh, nice dodge. Oh, dude, I just seized up right where I was standing at. Gotta be careful, he'll paralyze in a minute. Let me equip my flash pods. Now, look at that, he's immune! I just wasted all my flash pods. I guess I should have picked up on that the first two times I tried to flash him, but see, he was turned around. And usually monsters, even though they turn around no matter what, they'll still get flashed like a stun grenade. You know what I mean? You know, I should have took a hint that he's immune to it. Cause I think I think you can flash Nigigante and all them other ones. It's gonna be time to make some more no bears, cause I'm almost out of them too. Just been banging out quest after quest after quest. I need to be taking time to make my resources and materials and stuff like that. Get so hung up with trying to make armor and weapons. Oh, one more hit. Takes him out. Let's go ahead and farm him. That's the thing. When you first face this thing and you don't know his uh, patterns, he can't be a pain in the butt. But I beat him my first try. My first try, I beat him. And then you got these other YouTubers having trouble with him. Once you learn his pattern, it's golden. He's, he's not that difficult. Tiastra, to me, is still one of the hardest ones. And I guess somebody to combat that and say, well, Tiastra isn't hard. Anything can be argued. But in my opinion, Kieran is not that difficult. Maybe when he's tempered or something like that. Because if you go back and see the video, I fought two of them suckers. Shoot, so don't, don't come at me with that. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's not that difficult. So all he has is lightning strikes. Strikes, that's it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Monster Hunter World. If you like this episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. And to join the flock. We're the best flock on YouTube. Take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.